Hello, it's me James and welcome back to the channel. So, today is episode 9 of Simply Survival. Again, if you've been keeping up with the series, um, we're doing reasonably well with this one. Again, I'm really enjoying what we've done so far. So, obviously, last episode, we made a super cool tree farm. Again, I've got loads of use out of that. But today, we actually need to focus on getting ourselves some slimes. I need a few slimes to make a flying machine. Um, because obviously we want to get to the end before killing the ender dragon so I want to fly over the void make it super easy super simple you know how it is um, but obviously for that we need slime so I made my way over to this lovely um, swamp village again um, if you didn't already know um, slimes naturally generate um, in swamps so instead of straight away going for the slime chunks which again if you click this video for that by all means click um, the time that's on the screen now and that um, will be the exact time I tell you where to find slime chunks um, but for now like I said um, I want to do a little bit of exploring in the uh, swamp um, I'm just going to show you the best things that I actually found um, in this swamp. It's been pretty interesting, to be honest with you. So, first of all, what like you just seen, um, you just seen that the first witch hut that I came across came across uh, multiple of those, and also this really, really, really tall mushroom. Now, um, I had no idea if these existed. Um, I just put this in because I really wanted to find out if this is like abnormal or if this is normal. I've never seen one before. Again, that's awesome. So shortly after finding the really tall mushroom, I came across these vines that was literally growing on nothing. Now this is like cursed Minecraft, if you, I do say so myself. Look at it. That's that's really. What is that? Okay, so I did a little bit more exploring and actually found a really nice coral reef, which was like um, next to some plains biome, but it was also linked to the swamp biome, which I found quite weird. Um, it's quite nice, and also if you can just see in the corner. Um, there was actually another witch hut right next to the coral wheat reefs. So I was like, yes, let's go obviously and uh, get um, any loot that we can from there. So that's exactly what I did. Just obviously made my way across the warm water. And eventually we did get to the second witch hut that we found. Now, unfortunately, these witch huts weren't next to each other. Now, that would have been pretty awesome. We could have like got a double witch farm going in the future. Um, however, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find a double like witch hut um, around and about. Um, well, hopefully we can anyway. So, again, this one was super weird because this was kind of like on top of a cave. So, um, what I did is I went off and then came back because um, I, I, the cave was just on my mind. So, I went down the cave, obviously torching up as um, I went. Obviously, I realized there was a few zombies just as I entered. Now, I had no idea what I was doing right now. When I look at it back, I'm just letting myself get attacked and then just placing the torch down. So, I, I really didn't mind about the zombies, apparently. But yeah, like I said, I just made my way through these caves and what I come across was super, super awesome. Now, I've spent ages looking for what I'm about to show you um, on different maps, just trying to find them. And like I said, the quickest way to find these, um, which obviously, like you can see now, um, I found a fossil. Um, the quickest way to actually find these um, are literally finding them by accident. So, again, if I didn't come down the cave, I wouldn't have found this. So, what I did, again, was just dug a little bit around it. Again, it wasn't the best of um, fossils. However, it still was a fossil. It's still super rare to find. So, I was really, really excited. Um, on the way out, um, I noticed a really weird material on the wall. I was like, what the hell is that? So, um, you can see it now. I was like, yo... I was pretty sure I'd never seen that before, and then I was just having a dumb moment. And obviously, if you didn't know, um, the item is actually dead coral reef. So obviously, some of the coral reefs come inside the cave from next to um, the coral reef that we just found. So that's pretty weird as well. Again, I've never seen that inside a cave, especially like, obviously, when it's dried out, obviously, because there's no water around it. That's why it's died. But yeah, super, super weird. So eventually, I did actually find a slime, and I'm not going to lie to you, it took me well over an hour, maybe an hour and a half. And like I said, I did some resource collecting as well, um, and I was surprised to find out that there was only spawning at night. Now, I, I was under the impression that you didn't need a lot of, um, well, it didn't need to be night time for them to spawn, but apparently in the swamp they do. So, we changed plan. And we found some um, slime chunks. So the best way to find these, um, without a doubt, 
um, is definitely the website chunk base now i'm going to exactly show you how i found these obviously i've dug them out already so you go on the website chunk base like i've just said and now this thing is really really good it's so useful um it just speeds the process up now as regards to like mob spawners and stuff like that it's not that good on bedrock for that however this um for what we need slime chunks it actually works really well now if you didn't know Every seed on Minecraft has the same slime chunk generation. So no matter what, um, if, for example, you put the exact coordinates that I'm standing in, you will get a like three slime chunks, if, if that makes sense. I'll show you on the screen. So um, like I say, you can type in your coordinates. Um, so for example, I need to type in the coordinates of whereabouts of where I was standing. I don't know exactly what the coordinates was um so yeah like i say i'm just going to quickly type them in um whereabouts i was standing and all you've got to do is press go and it will actually take you to obviously that location and that's the location you'll be standing in the world or wherever the coordinates you want to find so as you can see i've got three slime chunks literally really close to each other next to me so um in the meaning of doing this process i actually found out that i'd that completely messed up the actual chunks that I'd already dug out. For some reason, um, the website was telling me different. Now, I was 100% sure I got them right, but clearly not. Um, so, again, it's a great way to test stuff. Um, you can just click around, um, and it will tell you the exact coordinate in the coordinate box below. Um, again, it's a really, really useful website, and I'm really glad I actually re-came on this website today. Um, and I've realized that the chunks that I've actually like completely broke out They're actually the wrong chunks, which is really weird because I'm actually getting some slimes Spawning the chunks that I've actually knocked out which is like I say it's kind of kind of is strange altogether like I'm, I'm baffled again It might have something to do with the fact that I actually found these chunks on my mobile phone Whereas this um, is the um, online website that might have something to do with it so I'm just gonna have a, a little mess around with the, and exactly the this is the exact spot that it's saying that I'm in, and this is supposed to be a slime chunk. Again, it's not a big issue. I can like say I've got, I'm getting slimes um, spawn all the time, but this is exactly the way that you're gonna want to do. It's the fastest way to find slime chunks. So um, like like I say, I just can't get over the fact that I've I've knocked out the three slime chunks three chunks which are 16 by 16 with no beacon like i've only done like 10 layers but even when i move it even the ones that i'm moving into that are not slime chunks so i've completely not got any slime chunks knocked out which is so so weird that is so weird again this is a great lesson for you guys as well make sure you like completely get the right coordinates this will tell you pinpoint the right coordinates so like i said i did afk for a little while i left an iron golem in there just so um basically when it, he kills the slimes i think anyway you actually get more slimes than it is when you kill them with your sword sometimes you don't actually get any drops so um i'm just gonna go back and wait a little bit longer to see if any more slimes do spawn it, it's so weird um so there we go um i've waited a little bit longer let's actually go and see and i can already see some oh yes we got loads so the iron golem's done a good job again i couldn't wait too long because i didn't want these slime balls to completely despawn but it's so weird how i've got the wrong slime chunks yet slimes are still spawning again i have checked around for caves and there's not many caves around like really there's not i couldn't find very many and the ones that i did they're fully lit up um which is something that you're going to want to do um but like i say i think now we're going to have enough slime blocks to actually make our machine so next episode we might actually have to start testing out the machine in the overworld just to make sure, because we don't want to have any mistakes when we go through the end. Because remember, we're still going to have to fight the dragon after we've got the Elytra and Shocker boxes. Um, unless, of course, we die, which um, I don't really want to do. Okay, so that is literally the end of today's episode. We've done exactly what we wanted to do. Um, again, the footage is basically about three hours worth of footage narrowed down into 10 minutes so please 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 smash like on um the video because it does help it out a lot um and like i say next episode we can actually get testing this flying machine in the overworld so we can um don't have no mistakes when we get to the end 
Um, once again, I hope you have enjoyed the video, and I will catch you on the next one.